the code now is fair and it will not lead to uh, to higher prices. And we are all about giving our customers more uh, more value for money. Loblaw CEO announces Canada's largest grocer will sign on to the grocery code of conduct, an agreement to enforce fairer dealing between grocers and suppliers. Canada's industry minister has touted the code of conduct as a potential path to more stable prices for shoppers. A lot has changed, and now it's a fair code, and uh, and we're happy, and uh, we are we are ready to sign as long as. Uh, all competitors and all suppliers, they are, they are signing. This is actually going to be quite helpful to stabilize prices over time if all participants adhere to the code. Food producers and suppliers have had tense relations with Canadian grocery corporations for some time. Grocers charge hefty fees, anywhere between fifty dollars to $100,000 to stock new products. They hope the code can help provide a mechanism to resolve those among other concerns. Consumers don't see the wars up the food chain, and they, 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 there are tensions, palpable tensions up the food chain. If with the consolidation that exists in the grocery industry, if one of the large players happens to make a decision, at this particular juncture, it's take it or leave it. Uh, the code provides the opportunity to negotiate, creates more transparency. Michael Graydon says Loblaws was concerned some details of the code could be misinterpreted. He says language was added to address those concerns while not changing the intent, substance or principles. Graydon adds the code creates economic certainty for both suppliers and retailers. I think what the consumer will see is more variety, more innovation, and especially in this current environment where packaging and plastics are are such high profile in regards to finding new solutions. Uh, I think you'll see a lot more investment in those components of it. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.